the best cozy place for the novel coronavirus in the human body is the respiratory tract. Lung is the primary battle zone. Let's find out how this novel coronavirus explodes the battle zone and destroys the human life into pieces. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and keep watching. Our respiratory tract and the lungs are like an in-body tree. The functional unit of trees are green leaves and these green leaves are equivalent to the alveoli of the lungs. The alveoli are nothing but the tinier sacs which are surrounded by the capillaries, that is small blood vessels of size 5 to 10 microns. And it is in this alveolus where gaseous exchange takes place, that is the oxygen we inhale goes into the blood and the carbon dioxide diffuses out from the blood to the lungs and then to the external atmosphere. This provides our body with the vital oxygen and throws out the excreta, the carbon dioxide. When a normal <laughs> healthy person comes in contact with the COVID-19 patients, the novel coronavirus gets access to the respiratory tract. The first portal is the nose. The novel coronavirus has spiky proteins on its surface. These are the keys which provide access to the human body. These keys unlock the human respiratory tract epithelial cells through the angiotensin converted enzyme 2 receptors. After binding, the novel coronavirus then enters the cell, multiplies within the cell, produces the inflammation, releases more of the novel coronavirus in the body, and produces more enhanced inflammation. As AC2 receptors are more on the lower respiratory tract than the upper, the lungs are more likely to be affected in COVID-19 disease than by the viruses causing the common cold. In around 19% of the COVID-19 cases, the infection takes a serious turn. This causes the severe to the critical disease affecting the both the lungs. The inflammation produced by the novel coronavirus skyrockets. The alveoli gets filled with the mucus, fluid, and the other cells that are trying to fight the infection. These cells are T lymphocytes and macrophages, which are actually the armies directed by the body to fight against the invaders like the novel coronavirus. In a normal person, the barrier distance between the alveoli and the capillaries permitting the gaseous exchange is 1 micron, that is 1 by 10,000 of a centimeter. With the collection of the fluid, the barrier distance between the ear and the blood increases. The wall becomes thickened, gaseous remains unexchanged, oxygen stays in the lung and carbon dioxide in the blood. This leads to the shortage of the oxygen in the blood, creating a condition known as hypoxia. With the decreased partial pressure of the oxygen in the body, lactic acid fermentation occurs, eventually leading to the multi-organ failure like respiratory failure, heart failure, renal failure. The death then is inevitable. Hence, COVID-19 is a pandemic killing machine with a case fatality rate of nearly 3%. So guys, stay home, stay safe, God bless you all.